Hello everyone, it is Susan here. Welcome to my channel. Today I am participating in two different collaborations. The first being Tag Tuesday, which is hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming. Her link will be below. And also the 12 Days of Christmas with Poet Spice. And that information will also be below in my description box. Please hop on over to everybody's videos and um, yeah, and check them all out for sure. And Sherry always puts, um, of course, a Tag Tuesday out herself and it's always a wonderful video. Please make sure you check it out. So today I'm going to work on a tag. I'm actually going to work on a tag that I have previously made for Tag Tuesday. Um, so I'm gonna work on this page right here. So I'm gonna pull this page um, out of my journal, out of my December daily. And, okay. So what I decided to do is on this page, I want to use one of these tags. So like I said, I had previously made these tags um, for Tag Tuesday, and I thought that they were perfect for today because one thing I always like to add to my December daily pretty much every year for the past several years is a prayer tag. And it can be different things. I've done them differently. It can be your personal prayers, like maybe about your family, what you're praying for. Um, you can, of course, use scripture, which I'm going to do today. And whatever you would want it to look like, you could make it yourself. So the two tags that I pulled out, well, the first one is this one. And... Um, it's a tag, you know, that I cut out the, the actual tag base myself and I added some lace and some ribbon. And then this was on the inside of a greeting card um, and an antique, uh, a vintage one. It says, may the joy and peace of Christmas be with you now and through the coming year. And I will, I can um, put the scripture on the back here. I can also add a piece of a, you know, a bit of a personal prayer as well. And then this was the other one. And I really can't decide which one to use, which is my issue. <laughs> but this was a lot of fun. I had also made, um, did I make, the, no, this was a pre-made tag. And I added some fabrics and then this really just pretty illustration from an old book. And I just really, really like it. And there's plenty of room on the back to document a prayer as well. So what I would do is, now I know that the tag is going to stick above this page, even if it's just a little bit, but I, I'm sure it will. I took out some lace to see if I can get some lace on here. I have my scripture ready to go, but what I would do is I would make a pocket. So if I used this tag, this would possibly be the pocket that I use because I think that that the reds look pretty together or since I used this ribbon on the actual tag I can make the pocket out of that and now that I'm looking at that I think that's pretty amazing so I'm going to put this piece of fabric away but if I went with the other tag which I was kind of leaning towards <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. I don't know, because they kind of look like they're in church, right? So um, if I went with this tag, I would use this. And you know what? I think this is what I have to go with. I really think so. What? So you just will probably be seeing this at some point um, for another Tag Tuesday for me to get that into my December daily. So, all right, so I know I'm going to use this. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna give this a cut. And now I have a good size for my pocket. 
Now, what is the best way to get it on here? Personally, I think it would be with some, oops, some staples. So I'm just going to do that. I could use Fabri-Tac. Oh, can I even get staples up here? I think I can. Um, let me see how high I can go. Oh, yeah, no, this will work. So I just want to make sure it's not too much in the fold of the book. And I keep saying book because, well, I'm using an old, an old um, Reader's Digest that I actually purchased from Sherry from her Etsy shop. Um, all right. One moment, please. Every time I put the stapler in there, that moves. One moment. Let me, I want to get this right. If I can't get it right, I'm going to have to use, I'm going to have to use some glue. Let's see. All right. Here goes. Oh, no. It did not even go through. Did not even go through. Well, you know what? Let me try my gold stapler. And let me see if this works better. Um, well, let's just give it a try. That's all we can do, right? Okay. And I don't know that I need more than two staples. Now, yes, you're going to see it from the other page, but that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. And I'm going to go ahead and staple this twice. This is somehow proving to be more difficult than I thought. Like, how hard should it be to staple something um, that did not go through? I find that very interesting that the staples are having such a hard time getting through here. All right. All I need is like, oh, there we go. Just a few more staples and I'm good. All right. So that's that. You know what, this one still did not work, but the other one did. And I'm just going to, because I'm having such a hard time, I'm just going to put one staple down there, and I'm going to go back over here. Oh, that one's, yeah, did it go through? Ah, oh, barely. I might have to redo that one. So now let me just make sure this is going to fit. Oh, nope. So I actually have to take that one out, and I'll staple it further over. So it does fit, it just, I need to get that staple in there. And I will do that. I will do that probably after this video. Okay, so I have my pocket and I like that. I like the fact that there's so much gold going on. So much gold. Uh, but let me pull out my vintage photo and I'm going to actually ink this fabric, why not? And I've been on all of my December, well, most of my December daily pages so far. I've just been kind of inking up even the top of whatever I put on there because I wanted to have that very old style look to it. Okay, oh, I think that that looks super pretty. Let's do the back. I almost never do anything to the backs of my tags. Usually when I make a tag, it's all about the front of the tag. Just kind of tone that down. All right, now the page itself I think is fine because the paper that I have on here is already distressed. Oh, I love this, okay. So now I'm going to take my scriptures um, and I will read them to you. First, let me get them inked up and then we'll go ahead and add this to the back of my prayer tag. Okay, so this is Isaiah from the book of Isaiah chapter nine verses six and seven and this is one of the classic um or classic verses for christmas is this right here and the reason i love it so much 
is because um, I don't know I just I think about this all the time like all year I think about this and I think part of the reason is maybe because of the song and you'll know the song as soon as I read the verse okay so it is Isaiah 9 verses um, 6 and 7 for for to us a child is born to us a son is given and the government will be upon his shoulder and his name will be called wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end so that truly is the reason for christmas is christ and um that you know god loves us so much that he sent to the earth to us his only begotten son so that he died for us on the cross he took our sins so that we can go to heaven and um he is the true reason for christmas so i'm gonna go ahead and get this down and i will most likely come back at some point and write um i'm gonna put this a little offset that i'm gonna come back and write a little prayer under this like i can write down here which i will do offline oops i got stuff everywhere so let's see i want to be careful i don't tear this paper so let me just make sure i go slow here okay i got something sticking out there okay and i'm going to put that right there so this will be my first prayer tag for this december daily um you will see at least one more i love the look of it i think it is super pretty it fits in here snugly but well i mean it does go all the way down to the bottom I just need to get that other staple in there. So let's go ahead and add this into my December daily. And let's see what it looks like. All right, so I have to find the right spot, which is actually the first page, which I, oops, wait a minute. I think I have it totally upside down, I do which I start with uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, I never did put any lace on. That's all right. I don't know that I need it. And so that's what it looks like. I'm loving it. You can see the gold out from the top there. Super pretty. And when I open up that page, it's right there. I haven't done anything to this side yet. Super pretty, right? Super pretty. I love it. So thank you so much for being here. I will have a playlist below for all of my December daily pages. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> excuse me, please go ahead and check out everyone's videos. And thank you so much, Sherry and Jamie, for these awesome collaborations. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.